Alright boys and girls and welcome to Garden Guitar. We have Wish Wednesday here and it's you Eric. You wished for a song from Steven Sanchez who's been here with us before many times. This song is called Hold Her While You Can. So that's a nice title there. Nice to remember. So I hope you will enjoy this Eric and all you Steven Sanchez fans many out there. So let's go into this song here. Uh, the challenge here could be the strumming, all right? It goes pretty fast and a lot of downs and ups. But once you get it, you get it. And I could use uh, some more practice for this song. Um, but yeah, let's do this together. Let's dissect this song. And we do that with the capo set here on the second fret. That is the easiest scenario because we want some notes to be highlighted and with the chords and uh, that are used here with the uh, cape on second that will be the easiest way so let's put that on there on the second fret and let's go over the chords so we have a couple of four i believe so uh, yeah let's take a look at the chords g first and um, this is the grip here you're gonna use for g so that will be third on e string and second on A, and everything down below will be open so far. We'll hunt down some notes there, and I suggest you hold the grip here with your ring finger on third E and your mid finger on second A. So you have both sides here to work with, all right? And that would what I would do. And then the next chord is the E minor seven. You simply just hold the second fret here on the A string. And I do that with my mid finger, all right? So just like this, everything else is open, all strings there. And the third chord here will be the D. And I would do that uh, with these fingers, my mid finger on the second fret G string and my ring finger on the third fret B. I also incorporate the open D string and the open E. I try to um, probably avoid for all these chords. We have that string with us both in the G and the E minor since we're using all strings there but I try to avoid them because I want to highlight notes on the B string all right so usually it is like this when you highlight notes uh, on a certain string with strumming then you try to stop with the strumming hand on that string so it's now in this case on the B string so I try to avoid strum on the E string as much as I can, all right? So G, E minor, and D so far, and we also will bring in the C. So that will be third on A, second on D, open G, first B, and open E. And for this chord, you can actually go and also hit the E string there as well. And I'm gonna explain later, but first let's go over the strumming here. So if we go to the G, that is the first chord, and we have this main part that builds up the song. It's G, E minor, and D. All right. So the full strumming will be like this. All right. Lots and lots and downs, and it starts with two downs first. And then comes six down ups. So down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up. All right. And you can of course not count here. It goes too fast, too many counts and numbers. You have to go and by feel here and learn this. And you just got it and then you just play. All right, that is how this works. Uh, and at certain ups here, I'm gonna show you two ups here where we're gonna add some notes, okay? But so far, we just learned the string pattern. It goes like this. Okay, so you're gonna play downs and ups till a point that you feel that there is the end and it comes a new uh, round of strumming here. It goes like this. So every starts a new strumming around. So and 
it's not gonna hurt you if you miss an up or down here and there uh, cause you strum a lot here so uh, nobody will hear it and you just continue to get the rhythm right here right so that is the most important thing but try to learn how far and how long time you're gonna play down up down up down up when you hear that switch you do this all right to start another round there so this is the most challenging part here of the song so i mentioned we want to highlight some notes here so for g you're gonna play g for two string rounds that e minor one and d one all right so that is the basic so it goes like this e minor Notice sometimes I make a stop there and I'm not continuing down and up all the time there. So it's not that important. The most important thing here is the timing to switch in right time. All right. So go back now to G and we want to highlight notes here. We want to first highlight the first fret B string and then go back and continue with open B as you do in the standard chord here for this G in this specific song. So the two notes you want to highlight is first fret B and then back to B, open B string. All right, so where do we add these notes? Okay, so you're gonna play in the strumming pattern here and we have certain two ups here when you're gonna highlight notes. So the first two downs, and then you play a total of six down ups, okay? Pairs of down ups. So the first pair, the second pair, the third pair or the third up, that is the first point where you hit the note. In this case for G, you hit, go down with the index and put it on the first for B string. That's the third up. And then fast, very soon you're gonna play the down up, the fourth up, you release it to get the open B string. So the third and the fourth up, these are the two points where you're gonna add notes in this song, okay? This is extra material, uh, but it does a lot actually for the sound here of the guitar. So uh, for G, it will be like this, slowly. You notice when I pushed down the first fret B string and got it back open again. Again. So you're listening for these shifts okay I did two rounds of the G now and that's what you're gonna do then you go over to the E minor and you just release the third fret E string and you keep that on the second so you have to think that much of that transition that is the E minor all right now you want to add the first fret B string again but you just keep it there once you added it you just keep it and you do that on the third up the first um, mark there the third up you're gonna add, of course, you start without. That's the standard grip here for E minor. On the third up, you add this first fret B string, that note, and keep it there throughout the strumming. And you're gonna play one string around. So slowly it goes like this, E minor. You just keep it there till the end of the strumming. And that is E minor. And then you go to D, this is the grip for D, and you're gonna play two notes here to add to this chord. You play this for one round in total, and on the first point, that means the third up, you hit from this position. On the third up, you go to this position here, you release a third fret B string, because you wanna highlight the first fret B string, that's the first note, okay? So that is the first, uh, sorry, the third up there. 
and then on the fourth up you release that as well and get that open all right so you're gonna end with this position here on the d so you start here that's standard grip on the third up you go over to this part and on the fourth up right after you will release that as well and end the chord with this position you're gonna play for only one string around so slowly this d goes <laughs> That's one round. That is one round of the main part of the song. It makes up for about 90% of the song, perhaps, or so. And so that is the challenge here to get the strumming right, the timing right. And if you want to add it, this notes, yeah, you need some practice here. I gave it 15, 20 minutes or so. I could use some more time with it, but anyway, that is how I do it. I'm gonna play through one round for you slowly to understand where and how to do everything. So let's go. So in tempo, something like this. And I noticed for myself, I slipped here and there it doesn't hurt too much as long as you get these notes you're gonna do a lot for the playing and the sound all right so that is the main part then you're gonna go over to the chorus where it starts to sing holder while you can you're gonna still play this main part here for three rounds so the g e minor and d in the same way as you played it in the main part and the verse and so but after three rounds still in the chorus you're gonna play the e minor two string rounds then C, one string around, and D, one string around. Here you don't have to care for any notes, you just play the strum as it is. So E minor 2, C1, and D1, like this. gonna play for one round and then you'll go back to the main part so that is actually parts you need to handle Steven Sanchez hold her while you can Eric I hope that helps and thank you for interacting with me here on Goran Guitar I believe you did that for the first time or so I don't recognize your name here I don't think I brought up your name uh, at least on the Wish Wednesday so yeah hope to see you soon guys and uh, feel free to wish for future Wednesdays I'm out play tuned